So, welcome back everybody to another video of Star Citizen. Today the Arena Commander module has arrived, aka the dogfighting module. And I think I wanted to show with you the uh, my thoughts on this, especially the current state of it um, being delayed two times and with the official uh, statement claiming that they needed the additional time to bug fix it and improve on the on, on the general feel. As you can see I'm currently Entering the Arena Commander hangar and uh, the simulator here. There's a um, Spectrum match here and a Drone Sim. Spectrum match is only available for a very select few right now. Um, it's that's the online part, uh, dogfighting part. The Drone Sim is the uh, single player part. And I'm going to first use the Drone Sim. To get myself acquainted with the controls here, I have I'm using this with my joystick, which is a um, 4-axis joystick. So you have pitch, your roll, and throttle. And as you see, I'm currently loading in here. There, I've already watched several reviews and. You probably have two. Uh, so the predominant thing I've um, heard in most reviews is that the feeling or the control feeling is not very responsive right now. So here we are. Throttle is working. Trying out the different axes here, the different buttons, because you can't um, rebind the buttons. And if you watch the closely, you will see that the joystick that's rep representing the input, um, the, the, the control input, that you're actually doing on the on the joystick is sometimes moving while the ship is not, and that is one of the the Warning. most the uh, oh yes, and obviously you're just in a giant room Warning. in uh, inside of space. So let me just get turn around and get to somewhere where I can actually fly along. Um, without the annoying Play. voice. So, um, to me this feels like, like A, it has some kind of input lag, and secondly, it's not very responsive. It's, it's basically, it, the controls have a giant dead zone in the center, so you have to, to go to extremes, and while at the current um, in the current free flight mode, this is not a problem. Collision. You will see that I'm struggling with it when I'm when you're fo facing yeah. real opponent, uh, opponents later on. So, Morning. simulation boundary. We're approaching simulation boundaries again. So you have a laser gun on top, which barely does any damage, and you have some mini guns. If you look here at the keys, this is the joystick control uh, controlling uh, the controller speed. And unfortunately, you cannot change this in any in any form. So 
you have to switch back between joystick and keyboard and that's another thing that I, I certainly don't like because they've basically they, they've um, delayed this time and time again and we're now currently talking about uh, about almost five months that they delayed this, this thing and, and the, the controlling the, the, the controlling of the of the spacecraft basically it feels really strange and it feels absolutely counterintuitive and this is basically done by the by the grand daddy of all space flight sims so I'm currently trying out here the Neptunium physics you can see basically I'm flying backward Fire. but you cannot basically change this so you can you can press a button and rotate but you have to re-engage the button to actually change your direction in any way so it's not really Newtonian it's simply this disengaging your, I don't know, um, fly-by-wire control system, however you want to call this. So, this is the corner that is being loaned by, uh, to, to all of the dogfighting participants. I'm going back here to check out the actual combat in when we're starting up again in a second you'll see that you have on the left side the different weapon groups there are two ti uh, two times four missile and launchers there are two chain guns and there's the laser turret on top which, as I said before, basically Anvil Aerospace. All does, systems online. Um, doesn't really do any damage, so So we're basically now spawning in here with these Van Duel um enemies. And personally, I think um, the feeling I, I've had um, during the simulation of this is basically you're not fighting the, the AI because the AI isn't that good at the moment, but you're more fighting the control scheme and the delay and the dead zones, and this is something... I mean, to me, this feels like, even though... I personally don't think the graphic is Aerospace. that great. All systems online. It's don't don't get me wrong. This the, the, the graphics are the graphics are okay, but it simply it, it's it's not really. It doesn't feel as if it's a it's a proper space sim. Or, I mean, neither a sim nor nor, nor an action game. It doesn't feel feel connected. It's it feels like you have a giant, scanning, wonderful graphics uh, showcase here with very impressive um, scenarios. But the controlling feels so limited and so so detached from everything Play. that. As you can see here, I'm, I'm currently I'm I'm just trying to to, to target this one, and then I'm currently I'm I'm still fighting with the controls because I thought that basically G or J would basically um, would would um, lock this, but lock the enemy in, but it it actually now targets my my friendlies. So back again to the keyboard 
controls I go. Uh, I go. Remember, I'm playing this with joystick, so it's hands off joystick all the time. Which for me is is they uh, Cloud Imperium Gaming is has actually tested this for several months now, and they never realized that if you're playing with anything but their predefined Logitech or, or $300 joysticks, um, that it's you, it's utterly um, uncontrollable with the joystick. I don't know. That's something that I I, I can't really understand. Here you see. I'm just trying to, to to shoot at him. Target destroyed. Collision. Scanning. And it takes so much effort to just point your, your ship in the general direction of the enemy. As you can see, you're, you're overcompensating all the time. You can see basically. You can see small, the, the, the smaller and more 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 subtle changes in um, that I'm doing here, but um, but on the on the stick. But this the whole aircraft feels so sluggish. Not that he can get any precision down to. to Alert! Starboard shield down. Collision. To basically, to, to to turn around and and slot in behind the enemy Charge. because it takes so much effort just. To you can see here. I'm I'm currently. I'm just trying to 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 get my. Get get my uh, my target bearing on him, and it, it's simply it's it's no good. You cannot rebind the keys. You cannot change the the um, sensitivity of the, of your uh, joystick. So it's. And basically, it I think it was a given that that. Um, the dogfighting module, with all the delays it has, would be disappointing on some levels because it basically it, it's, it's they they hyped it so up so much and they they have so such a large team and so many uh, so so many guys working on this already and 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 basically making Shields claims charging. about how good it, they They're want it to be and that they wouldn't. Um, so, uh, release it until it, it was at a certain Scanning. very high level of, of standard uh, very high standard and of, of, of quality and I mean it's basically it has it, it has the same problems that the, the that the hangar module had when it la first launched and which it's to this day has and there's there are bugs there are graphical glitches in the in the hangar module that weren't fixed until I don't know. I'm, I'm not even sure if they are fixed now. What I I'm, um, thought when I entered the hangar today was that it actually had a had had gotten a um, um, downgrade graphically because it, it it seemed to be that the all the um, the texturing was much blander, and that the um, that basically the the shadows weren't as, as detailed as they were before. Maybe they just changed up the lighting or, or something, but that was the ex the impression that I had, and. The same thing holds true for the dogfighting module or area com uh, arena commander mode that they are now introducing here. This basically 
I mean that it. I would have uh, understood if they if it still had had um, bugs and and crashes and stuff. But what I'm currently what what I can't believe is is how someone could could release something like this. Obviously, without taking a look at anything else but the Xbox um, One or Xbox 360 controller uh, and and very specific hotel systems and Warning. basically Ask disabling things that I mean, Crytek engine does have a have a rebindable keys. It's not something that you need to, to program in, and that's something that's new, but it's, it's simply... I cannot understand how you, on the one hand, can can boast claims like, oh yeah, we're we're not releasing this until we're really... Um, until we're, we're absolutely satisfied with it. Because if this is the level of... of of gameplay and quality that that Chris Roberts and, and the guys at Cloud Imperium are content with. Um, okay. Shields charging. I mean, perhaps I'm small. Perhaps I I look at um, this game through the lens of, of somebody who played who's playing in alpha of, for example, um, space engineers or. The alpha version of the, of the last Weapon game I played, that's an alpha, um, but it was the Stomping Lands, which basically had all the major stuff, uh, stuff in and, and felt responsive and looked good and everything. I don't know, perhaps I'm spoiled by that. But, I mean, this to me doesn't feel, uh, while, while it, it looks it, I mean, it looks okay. Yes, it. I don't know. I'm. It's for me. It's not a. I personally <sighs> don't think it. It, uh, it, it looks um, absolutely gorgeous, but it, it. It looks okay. I mean, if I'm looking at footage of Elite, or if I'm looking at footage of of games like like um, Limit Theory, or even though they have much less. Uh, capital in, invested in them and much smaller de develop teams, developer teams in them. It still feels to me that they are. I don't know. To me, they they look they look a little bit better because I I don't know. This this looks yeah. This this looks very technical. This looks very this looks very dark. Very. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Starboard shields, fifty percent. To me, this this doesn't have the 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 shields. movie like atmosphere that that many of the other have, and even things like uh, that that should um, increase your immersion, like this 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 joystick. I mean, this joystick that you see down here. I'm I'm using an analog stick to, to control this game, and you can clearly see that this is simply something that is is purely based on digital uh, signals. The the movement of the sticks is absolutely shields charging. It, it it's absolutely digital. It's, it's like it switches between different states. And if you want to include something like this in a game, then you better make sure that it, it, it looks apart. And this to me is simply... I don't know. I personally think that, that games like, like, for example, Armor 3 do a much better job at displaying um, Analog steering devices, like, like, um, for example, steering wheels or something like that, and 
as well as the um, the, the, the point. I'm I have track IR enabled right now. And I was clearly uh, hoping that they uh, that track IR would basically work here, but it doesn't. And you have to use your mouse to to look around and. The the your coolie head on your on the joystick doesn't um, doesn't uh, work here in any way. So you have to um, um, other than zooming in. The, the the module uh, the, the 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 model of the of the um, fighter cockpit here. Those as uh, those asteroids. Lock. I don't know. I've I, I I dare to say that I've seen better, actually. The the sound effect. I mean, certainly I'm. Um, just listen for for a few seconds to the sound effects here. Does this and and, and think for yourself? Does this really feel like like a like a game that's worth forty million dollars? This this feels like I don't know. Lock. Chaff. This feels this feels not at all like like I am feeling the immersion, and that's one thing that that Stas isn't always said it, it wanted to to Scanning. to do with the player, immerse himself in the simulation, immerse himself in in the uh, in the. This, dogfighting and this currently it doesn't feel like immersive to me at all because the the sound is rather flat actually and it's I don't know it it doesn't feel you don't feel any punch in it it's like I don't know it, it feels it could be laser cans it could be light cans it could be basically anything I mean literally the sound you're currently hearing is pow pow. The one thing that I, I actually think is, is is okay is the the damage modeling here, but then again, it's, it's 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 eye candy. It's simply eye candy because. Okay, there are things flow, uh, uh, blowing off of your, of your starship, but it's, it's, basic, it's mostly your starship because you, you can't for the life of you uh, get the other uh, guys, the enemy, in, inside your, uh, um, your, your firing arc. That's something that I feel... Well... Very, <laughs> sorry, I'm very worried about. And for one thing, or for, for another thing, that is basically the, this this female announcer here that you have in your in your ship, <sighs> I know. Has anybody ever noticed that she sometimes Lock. she's absolutely overwhelmed by the actions that are going on here? You you're basically locking onto somebody, and, and seconds later she says, "Oh, you have a lock. You're getting shot at." And and you you firstly you won't notice it because. 
there's no feedback to you there's no there's no vibration there's no impact sounds there's there's nothing that's telling you that and there but there is actually a um, weapon cam a missile cam and I will demonstrate this as soon as I get somebody long enough into my general sites here you go And uh, again, while it's a nice idea, um, I've seen better missile cams. It's you, you basically you just see that this this was basically a third person slapped onto the missile. There was no, I'm I don't know. I, I would have loved for it to have some something like acceleration and and letting the missile zoom out again and and. Not not being like like a sticky cam. It's, it, it feels like they strapped a, a GoPro on the on the Bogey. missile, and that's what what you Scan. just saw there, because there was no deviation from the path of the missile at all, even though it was it was clearly flying behind the missile. And all this stuff is basically that's that's. Scan. I have to say, I actually. I expect better. Yes, I do. Yes, it's an alpha. But then again, they said in December they said they needed more time. They had more time. They had now five, uh, five more months to basically expand on the already finished dogfighting module that they had in in December. And. This experience right now doesn't add up to for me to five months of, of development with I don't know how many people. Two hundred I guess there now. And I know that some of them are on uh, focusing on single player and only a part of the team is actually working on, on the dogfighting module, but still. At the same time, I've seen other um, other games, and sorry if I have to bring this up again. Um, Elite Dangerous is one of them that have fewer people, fewer resources than than these guys have here, and they seem to deliver something better. And while I'm I'm. I've, I've backed this on the on the pretense that yes, I want a space game. I want a, I want a, a space game for for computer, and I want it to be high def, and I want it to be I, I want it to be be basically triple A. I scanning. <laughs> this for me is not it. Lock. And that's something that is very, very worryingly for me because, I mean, Elite units eliminated. Hold for automated repairs. I think I, I, it will be very interesting how this this actually alpha version um, develops in the next few few weeks and. I, I hope it's weeks because they now have uh, um, fixed all the major bugs, which another is another thing. How buggy has this uh, re um, release been when when they didn't want to release it? If, if all this stuff is still in or is, isn't fixed yet. Alert. Um, they, I mean, they need to, to fix Alert. stuff. They need to fix stuff like 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 making the controls rebindable. They have to fix stuff like like making the the dead zones adjustable. Like making the make making the axes rebindable. 
on your controller Starboard shields down. to at least give the players the possibility to shield charging <laughs> alert to to fix the alert. the issues that they Board obviously down. didn't feel Warning. the need to fix Warning. Aft like making it controllable only with a shields. with a joystick alert. a joystick alert. where you have down. countless buttons that are shields. simply charging. not bound to anything useful right now I really Aft shields down. Collision. Alert. Systems overheating. And as you can see basically here now, the sound of my scanning. Gatling gun. Collision. Has failed. Scanning. Starboard shields. 75%. And besides the the, the shields. The announcement of this is this is this announcer later here. Oh, Starboard Shield as uh, Starboard Shields at twenty five percent. Did you notice any of this? <sighs> For me, this feels very, very, I don't know, sanitized. It feels absolutely sterile. And that's something that I, I don't. I, I would never have have thought of because basically, I don't. It's this this is controller wise. When I was playing this, I'm I'm actually I'm narrating this afterwards again because the I was shocked with and and it was in total disbelief when I was playing this because it, the controller the controller scheme here. For me personally, it's, it's one of the worst things I've ever seen in a in a computer game. I'm not talking about a um, game like a, a, a console game or something like that, but for the computer game, this is the the, the one time the, what or basically what this reminds me of is I, I have one time played Under Tournament on the PlayStation. I don't know, I three four whatever on a PlayStation controller and this basically if you have ever done something like that uh, before um, this feels like playing a 3d action game a shooter with with a game uh, with with a PS3 pad or to, to put it into perspective it feels like like you have to you're playing a first-person shooter on the on the on the PC, and somebody has has I don't know boned your hands, and you have to use your 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 feet to control it. It feels so sluggish. It feels so unresponsive. You are approaching simulation boundary. Weapons system is offline. I'm really hoping that they will fix them. The major issues here soon. Oh, by the way, the L key for eject doesn't work. No, I'm really hoping that they will fix this because this currently, in this state, it's in. It just feels really bad for me, and I don't. I will leave this on till I'm destroyed, which will be in a few seconds now, but... I mean, most of... Uh, most of you Aft will probably... Get to play this and experience this at, at one Starboard time shields. as well, so... You will then see if you, you can Warning. understand what I've, I've meant here, or not. Currently, this is not good. Stand by so. for reintegration. Anvil Aerospace. All systems online. Bogey. Hopefully, we'll see. Scanning. Flare. A little bit more positive things of Star Citizen in the near future. Until then, thanks for watching.
Bye.